Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today because I I have an emergency retraction to make. I had a change of opinion about a product and it is kind of an emergency because it was a big miss and now it's a super big hit. It was a miss and then some sweet subscribers told me some different ways that I might could use it and I love it so much now. I wanted to get on here and tell y'all about it. Wait, I'm going to jump right into this. I'm also going to tell y'all a few things that I used today that I enjoyed because my favorites change by the minute. And I haven't talked about what I'm liking in about a week. And um, some of this stuff, most of this stuff you've heard, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm really enjoying using like today. It'll be super short, but wanted to put a little makeup talk in here because I haven't this week very much. So anyway, going to jump right in. Okay, the product that was a miss that is now a huge hit and like immediate favorite is the Moroccan oil. Um, when I, when this was a miss with me, I was using it like the directions say. I was using it on wet or damp hair, really focusing on the roots. Well, it made my roots really feel oily. So a couple of sweet subscribers gave me some ideas on, you know, tell me how they were using it and some ideas on how I could use it. So what I am currently doing is I am using this after my hair is dry. I coat my hand with it, rub my hands together, and then work it into my hair everywhere but the roots. I'm working it, I mean, here and down, just kind of working it all through there. And um, I, I love it. It is, um, it does exactly what it says. It gives you a movable volume. That is tough to do, y'all. I mean, I've always had to pick between frizzy and oversprayed hair and any kind of volume. And this, after I dry my hair, it's always real frizzy. I have to really it, punish it with the flat iron. And with this, it feels immediately healthier because it's got, I guess, Moroccan oil in it. So it does make it feel healthier, but it also just immediately volumizes it and doesn't make it stiff. I love this stuff. So what I did to get my hair like this today, all the products I used, because there are a couple, I used the Fruit Tees Clean and Shine when it was all the way wet. Just towel dry it, put this on, focusing on my bangs and my a little bit through the roots, but not just a whole lot because this will get it overly stiff. Then I go through with a big handful of volumizing mousse. This is just what I've always used, and I like it fine. The um, Herbal Essences Volumizing Mousse. Okay, then I blow dry it until it's damp, and then I lift up pieces of my hair and very sparingly use the Big Sexy Hair at the roots. This will make it crunchy if you're not careful. It still makes it crunchy, even though, um, I mean, I kind of have to work, work through it. But um, I do love the Big Sexy Hair, so spray that at the root, dry it the rest of the way when it's all the way dry, put this on my hand, it's a spray, spray it all over my hand, and then work that in like I just showed y'all through my hair and shoot it with a blow dryer and just dry that onto my hair. Then last night I put um, hot rollers in it and left it for quite a while. Took them out and then I didn't really tame it down too much. It was prom hair, I'll tell you. And then I put it up in a ponytail and slept. It looked like little girl hair. It was so healthy looking and I just left it up in my prom hairdo and slept like that. And then this morning I took it down. It was, it felt so healthy y'all. And then, um, oh, I also, to give it a little bit of texture, it's not too slick, but I do shoot it with my full dry volume blast from Living Proof. I love this. I'm not giving this up. Sprayed some of this in to texturize it a little bit and um, then used my Sebastian Shaper Plus. I had been out of this and just replaced it. I love this. And I spray this just on the ends of my layers, my bangs, you know, but I don't have to just cement it to my head to get that volume to stay. It stays. It is a fabulous product. It really is, and it's an immediate favorite. So I'm excited I ordered the two cans by mistake, and I will definitely keep using this. I love it. I'll probably try more of their products. It was worth, I think I paid 29 for this, I think, and um, it was worth it to me. So anyway, those are all the, um, the hair products I used. 
Okay, a few makeup products that I really enjoyed using this morning. And one skincare item. The dryness on my face is kind of lit up. I was able to use the Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar. Really enjoyed just being able to pick this up in the morning before my eyes are even open. Not having to open a bottle. I just like it. It's just, you know, a little easier. So, pick this up and use that. Really enjoyed that. Then, um... I'm trying out a new concealer that I've wanted to use forever and have not been able to, but I was talking to Lisa J over on her channel and we were talking about our favorite concealers. Well, her, one of hers is the Tarte Shape Tape. And um, I was like, oh, I want to use this so bad. And she was like, how are you using it? So she was kind of talking about um, how she uses it. And I was like, I'm trying that again. So when I was in Ulta getting mascara the other day, I picked up two of these because I wasn't sure of my color and was like, I'm probably going to have to give those away again. I figured out how to use it. I put it very sparingly under my eyes, just right here. You know, with my age rewind, I put it all under there. But this is so thick. I'm being kind of careful with it. I just put it here, but then I spread it out with my Artist Oval or my Casey Republic concealer brush. These are interchangeable to me. I like them equally well. Um, then I tap it, tap it all under my eye and then just kind of work it in real easy. Love it. I'll get close so you can see. I really like the finish on it. Now this does have the prep and prime underneath it. I love this because it kind of highlights your face. I use it all down the center of my face. I've kind of just, this is kind of new to me, but love this. And then went over it with a little bit of this. And so far it's wearing well, but I will come on and tell you if I can't use it. I will tell you because this is only day two with it. So we'll see how this wears, but I'm real excited that it looks like it's gonna work. Then I enjoyed, I got out my city block and it's it was 80 by the time I left the house this morning. It wasn't even noon. So I put on a, not real thick, but you know, I put on some city block and then I put a pretty thick layer of my foundation today because the CC has my main SPF in it. So I put a full pump of this and a little bit of my Tarte Amazonian and I'm telling you it was a pretty thick layer y'all. Pretty thick. I'm going to say pretty high coverage on me this morning. Then I got either my KC Republic or my Artist Oval. I honestly can't remember which one. I just grabbed whichever one's handy. They're totally interchangeable. And then I blended it out very nice and smooth and my face felt totally covered when I left the house this morning. We just don't want to ruin everything, you know, all that good skincare that we do all year. Then um, really especially enjoying my Laura Mercier setting powder because I looked especially haggard this morning when I looked in the mirror. I was like, what the heck? And after I put this on, it just smoothed everything out so much that I got on Sephora to reorder. And y'all, I really would not have ordered this if I'd known how much I was spending, but I accidentally bought the travel size for 25. So I thought, well, that's not too bad. And then today I realized, okay, I'm paying like $40 for a powder. That's a lot for me. Now, you know, I'll do that for mascara, but for powder, it's just, but I love this that much. I just hit buy before I could back out because I, I do love this. I don't know what it is about it. It just really smoothed everything out. I was like, well, that's worth $40. Then I really am enjoying, and I, this was in my favorites, the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm putting it right under here and all over my forehead, blending it out so I kind of look like I've been to the beach because I'm real pale. I don't know if y'all can tell on here. And then for the blush over that, I used the Coralista by Benefit and felt just sun-kissed. Now, I don't know if that's coming out on camera, but I swear I looked pretty sun-kissed when I left the house this morning. So really like that. Then I got out the Too Faced Mascara because I decided I wanted wispy lashes today and used that and really enjoyed that. Now I do have to put on three or four coats of it. It's not too much. You know, I just put it on, you know, I'll put on eyeshadow and then put a layer and then I'll put on eyeliner and then put another layer and I just kind of work it up. So really enjoying the Too Faced Better Than Sex today. And then these lips, y'all, are perfection. The Natasha Denona Smoky Rose topped with the Marc Jacobs um, Sugar Sugar or I can't remember the name of the other one. I'm going to link it below. Um, it's, it's, it's just, it's this, it's Sugar Sugar, a shade lighter. And I 
love this. I mean, it is just good. It's good going to the gym. It's good going out to dinner. It just is what I've got on now. If you like this, it's just a very soft pinky nude. How much can I beat this to death over y'all's heads? <laughs> I just bet I really I love this. And those are the makeup items I enjoyed today. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments about the hair or makeup or anything, leave those below. And I think that's all I have for y'all. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all soon. I hope you're having a good day. Bye.